What's up guys? Welcome to another video. It's me, Conjurus Hex. Today, we're going to talk about Ground Slam versus Earth Shatter. What to use for mapping, what to use for bossing. Well, the answer to that is Earth Shatter's for bossing, and I'm going to show you how to swap into it and what links to use. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment, really appreciate all the support. Alright, let's dive into it. Here's my gem links that I'm going to show you today. Right now, I have Earth Shatter set up because, you know, to be honest, I'm kind of digging the Earth Shatter for mapping as well. But to be honest, Ground Slam really is what you want to do for mapping. And we'll do an example map in a moment here. The link is going to be Ground Slam of Earth Shaking. Val Ground Slam of Earth Shaking, actually. Uh, I got a video coming up showing how to get this specific gem. Of course, you can just buy it off trade, but you can also get it from the Labyrinth. But anyways, next link, Pulverize. Then it's going to be Fist of War, Melee Physical Damage, Brutality, and Fortify. That's going to be your mapping setup for Ground Slam. When you swap into Earth Shatter for bossing, it's going to be Earth Shatter, a new support called Overexertion, Fist of War, Melee Physical Damage, Brutality, and Fortify. Alas, I only have five links right now, so we're going to kind of run it like this. And like this. So let's do that. Let's run a map. Honestly, the Ground Slam version is really easy to explain. There's not really much to go over. You just slam F. You slam your war cries. Easy peasy. Let's dip into a map. Got my Val Ground Slam ready as well. That's a benefit here. Okay. This is going to be a huge AoE. I hope this was the right map to pick. Maybe not. But look at that huge arc. What do they say? One tap the entire screen? Is it true? Oh boy, here we go. I usually like to go to 300. I feel comfortable doing that. And if you feel... If you're feeling spicy, just slam a Val. Why not? I feel like you're in trouble. No reason not to. These guys hit hard. Jeez. Make sure you keep your war cries up. You want to make sure you're exerting those attacks. That is the one mistake people often make, is not doing their war cries. That number at the bottom, next to my seismic cry, it's a good indicator of how many attacks you have to overexert. Alright, let's take it. Let's, let's do an expedition. Alright, this is a good good excuse to do expedition. Sheesh, look at this. I'm slamming my Val ground slams now because it's, it's getting a little spicy. So, like, this is kind of getting into boss territory, because these guys are, have chunkier life. I want to say if I had Earth Shatter right now, that that guy, one particular guy would have been better. But hey, look, we cleared we cleared an expedition. Good for us. All right, we're at the boss arena. We have our bossing set up here, Earth Shatter. So what we're going to do is we're going to slam the ground with Earth Shatter. It's going to leave the spikes on the ground. Then what Earth Shatter says, War cries or other slam attacks performed by you or allied players near any spike will cause them to shatter. Let's see what that's like in action. So let's get some spikes down. War cry. Spikes down. S spikes down. And then as we got closer and closer to 20%, we have Culling Strike. So that went definitely faster than it would have if I was using just Ground Slam. I would just be barely chipping away at him with Ground Slam, but with Earth Shatter, it chunks him a little bit more. Chunk, chunk, chunk. So what's next for me in the build? Well, we just defeated the Searing Exarch and the Eater of Worlds for the first two Void Stones. So we got two. Next is Elder in the Shaper's Realm and the Maven. 
If you want to catch videos of me defeating those bosses, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss them. If you want to see my fights against the Searing Exarch and the Eater of Worlds, let me know in the comments. I'll post them as separate clips if the interest is there, but appreciate the support. You guys have a great day.